guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the brand new Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is a contouring concealer and it's sold exclusively at Sephora. Not Sephora. It's sold exclusively at Ulta for $24, which is pretty good price, typical price for Tarte products. So I was just so excited to get my hands on this because one of my beautiful viewers did suggest me doing this review and I had my mind on it so I was like girl we are thinking on the same page and that's why I love you guys because we're always on the same page when you guys ask me for reviews I'm like girl that's what I was thinking too so I'm so happy that somebody requested it because I was like I have that one coming so I literally am just going to say it off bat this is one of the best concealers I've ever used I have not stopped using this concealer whatsoever and I think one of the main reasons why I love it so much is because it's by Tarte and you guys know that I love Tarte products so I knew that I was going to love this product. Um, I want to quickly go ahead and start off by just saying the pros of it and then I'm going to go into the cons. So the pros of this product is that I feel like you really get a really good amount of product in this little bottle. It is pretty much the same as the Rainforest of the Sea one, except I think it's packaged differently, but it contains almost the same amount of product. So it's pretty similar. And then another thing that I want to quickly say is that they both have that doe foot applicator. You guys know that for concealing, I live and breathe for these applicators because the way that I apply it, which you're going to see very shortly, is in that triangle motion. So I feel like this covers a lot of that space as opposed to other type of concealer applicators, which I feel like may not do that. I feel like this one is a little bit of a thicker consistency, so it can cover more faster, as opposed to something that's more watery. I feel like those type of products tend to cover less, so you have to add more. With this, you do not need to add a lot because it covers right away. The consistency of it blends pretty well without it feeling like you have too much going on in the under eye. I have been wearing this for the past couple of days, so this isn't like a first impression, my first thoughts. Throughout the course of the days, I've noticed that this product just looks better and better. Like I noticed more great things about it, and it's definitely a long wearing one. It was, I think, the first time that I did wear it. I was literally outside for a few hours, and it was like 104 degrees, and my makeup, especially my concealer, was still going on strong. It wasn't coming off. The sweat wasn't disturbing it. It was perfection. So I was really, really impressed with that aspect of this concealer. What are the negatives? I feel like there's no negatives to this product because it's just amazing. But I do want to quickly say now that I'm talking about just negatives in general, I was really contemplating buying that little sponge that comes with this new collection. I think it's a little purple sponge and I really thought about it, but I talked myself out of it because honestly guys, I feel like sponges do all the same thing. I mean, of course, there's those sponges that are pretty cheap that really don't do much. I know that some cheap sponges are amazing, but then there's those that are, you can tell the quality isn't gonna be great. I just felt like this is gonna be very, very similar to the Morphe sponge, the Real Technique sponge, and the Beauty Blender. And I just got a fresh Beauty Blender. It actually looks like crap right now because I've been using it. Real quick, do not get the tan beauty blender. You may think, oh, it's tan, it'll look dirty, it'll blend in. No, it, it looks disgusting. So do not get this one. But um, I just, I don't know, I just looked at it and I really analyzed, I'm like, is this worth it? It's $16, which is less than the beauty blender, but it's still pricey. I would say, unless you're on the hunt for a brand new sponge and want to really try something different or you're just new to the makeup game and you really want to give that one a try, I would say definitely go for it. But if you're somebody who just is like, ooh, that's a cool sponge, should I get it? Don't get it. It's gonna do the same exact thing as the other sponges that you probably already have. So that's just a quick, trying to be wise about my money type of little scenario. I'm gonna go ahead and just highlight my face. This is a contour concealer, so you can use the darker shades and contour your face, which I think would be pretty cool because this applicator makes it easy to just draw the lines draw it on your nose. It makes it really nice for you to really go ahead and do a lot with it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this on my under eye. And I just love the amount of coverage it gives me. Like some days my under eyes do not look that bad, but some days I feel like there's just so much darkness. And lately I've been feeling like my under eyes have been having a lot of darkness. So I've been loving these type of concealers that have really good coverage, but are not so thick that they're gonna cake up my skin, but really just give it the intensive 
look of having really bright under eye. Try setting one eye and leaving one eye with no setting powder and I did find that if I left it without using a setting powder it did crease. I used my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I just go ahead and kind of bake my under eye just a tad so that it really keeps it crease free and that ends up working really well for me. So like using a beauty blender that stamp gives you the best results when working with this, especially if you're somebody who creases a lot, I would say go back and forth with the beauty blender and just kind of manipulate it so that it doesn't crease. And I want to quickly say that this concealer smells amazing. The only thing I didn't like about the Aqua concealer, the Rainforest of the Sea, was that it literally smelled like paint. And I think I did mention that in my review that I did when I spoke about it. I felt like the scent was too strong. And I feel like this one does a good job of hiding the scent. If there may be a scent, it has she butter in it. And I think it has um, puny flowers. I think that's how you pronounce it. Peony, puny, pe peony. I think it's puny. I don't know. So now I'm going to go ahead and dust away the powder. And I really love this brush for dusting away powder. It's the e.l.f. angled blush brush. But I mean, come on, we can use this for other reasons, right? So I use it for my under eye powder. So that is a little quick demo of how I like to use this concealer. And guys, I must say, this concealer really did change my life. Oh, this is so terrible of me that I didn't mention what shade this was. This one is in the shade medium. So I was really hesitant about which shade I wanted because I did see light medium and medium. And usually I tend to go for light medium, but I just kept looking at it in the light. I kept looking at it outside. I was like walking in and out of the story part that I was stealing, but I, I could not figure it out. I was like, what is my shade? So I literally just decided to ask, to ask the guy at the front at the cash shop and he told me that to go with the medium. And then when I went outside, I was like, well, this, is all, this is way too dark. So I literally went home and I matched it to my Rainforest of the Sea Concealer and it is in the shade medium as well. So then I was like, okay, I'll be okay. I definitely would say if you're somebody that wants to try a brand new concealer or somebody that likes to hoard concealers like myself, then I would say give this one a try ASAP because you will not regret it and it looks fantastic on the skin and it's of course a cruelty free vegan product. So that's always a plus, especially when it comes to your face. You want to use things that are more of the natural sense of products because I've been having some issues with my skin and if I can use anything that's vegan and just is the most natural, I will be so happy with it. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. I will have this Beautiful product listed down below in my description box on Ulta. You can go check out your local Ulta. You can go check out your local Ulta, and I'm sure they will have this in stock. If not, I will have it linked down below so you can order it online. If you guys have any suggestions for any future reviews that you want to see, please let me know down below in the description box because I would love to do that for you. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and join our little family of makeup and fun because we love to talk about all things makeup. And I will be seeing you guys again for a brand new video really soon. Bye, guys.